bit of background about myself. My name is Evelyn Chung. I'm from AGIMO, the Australian Government Information Management Office within the Department of Finance. I've been a member of finance for about three years and my background includes desktop administration, uh, solely maintenance and project management. So today we'll talk, be, be talking about GovShare. Have any of you guys heard about GovShare before or already am using Gov, GovShare? No, that, oh, we've got one. <laughs> well, I see you not using No worries. Oh, it'll be good because um, it's actually up live already, but it's not completed. So now moving forward, we'll give um, the users a more complete product. Did you set out a registration thing a week or so ago? Registration, no, not for GovShare. It could be another GovSuite product, yeah. Okay, so what is GovShare? GovShare is a free online resource for APS staff to publish, discover and consume a broad range of resources used within the APS, such as open source software, frameworks and guidelines, standards, UML models, XML schemas, architectural models, data sources, including the Government Solutions Register and a host of other business and ICT artefacts. It also allows users to search for skilled people across the APS with experts in expertise in particular fields or with particular products and also contribute to online discussions using the forum functions offered by GovShare. So where does GovShare fit within the GovSuite? So already available, we have GovDex. GovDex supports collaboration across government. It is a secure private web space and helps government agencies to manage projects and share documents inf and information. And also available already, it's GovSpace. GovSpace allows agency to concentrate on content and online engagement rather than infrastructure related issues when creating a blog or interactive websites and now av available in 2014, we have GovShare. GovShare supports collaboration and reuse of business and ICT resources across the Australian government. So to give you some context where GovShare was and what GovShare will be, in 2011, GovShare received a soft launch as a proof of concept to help agencies share and reuse ICT artifacts across across agencies and ju jurisdictional boundaries. GovShare was aimed to support agency collaboration by making it easier for agencies to harmonise information and processes within a defined business context called communities. Since the soft launch, we had received a number of suggestions from users and that will make, that, that will make GovShare work better. Some of the major issues we had with the 2011 version includes that the GovShare is a system that relies on the user having extensive knowledge of DSpace and HTML. Upload of artifacts was time consuming and tedious and the management of communities was onerous to the authorised parties. We have taken into consideration all of these suggestions and feedback. So next year, as a part of one of the deliverables on the APS ICT strategy for 2012 to 2015, we are launching an enhanced GovShare on a new platform. So now I'm going to go through some of the core features of GovShare. Just keep in mind this is a test environment, so nothing is finalised yet. So one of the core features, to begin with, we have the advanced search engine filter. Sorry, that's not working for me right now. Um, okay, that's all right. So what happens is if you go and use the search tool on the front page here. What you can do is you can type in, for example, SAP, and then you can just go um, scroll down, select software or services or guidance or people, whatever filter, filter you like, and press go, and then you'll go into the um, search results. And with our new features, the search results will contain um, filters which you can filter the software by, for example, um, by type, by license, by rating as well. And also you can um, download a list of uh, the search results. 
Um, you, uh, there's also, f when you click into each search result, you get an option to discuss the item as well. So you can discuss this item with your colleagues, um, whether this product is a good product to use, what environment is suitable for. And also um, included in the items results page, you've got the um, licensing information. Um, is this a standard government um, product or is it, has it been endorsed by CIOC? Um, since the video is not working for some of them, I'll just um, go through the other core features. Um, the, people search, the people search function is another new feature. Um, basically, what you can do, for example, is type in a search for a particular skill set or question that you're looking for. For example, you can type in, say, Active Directory and then select from a drop down button um, people and go go and then you get a list of people um, with the skills in that particular area. So in cu currently in our um, APS um, environment, ICTO skills is a quite a shortage. So what a normal process would do, you might want to consult, uh, get a cons consultant coming into your work area, ask a few questions. With the uh, benefit of this people's feature, if you have a quick shot question, you look for the skill, you check out which agency they're from, and then you can just type them a quick message and ask a question. Sometimes it could be like a two second questions, and most people, if they already have this type of skill set, they're more than enough, they're more than happy to help each other out. We also introduced the user profile function. So it's more a personalized, personalized approach and this is where you can put details in about yourself. So you can put your, uh, where you, which agency you're from, your title and um, the skill set you have. Another new feature we have the user profile is if you want to put in your LinkedIn profile, you, you can put it in here as well. Um, for example, if you have meetings with other agencies and you want to know what they look like, you can um, actually use GovShare and see a picture of them so you can s identify them at a coffee shop. Um, also, we have a message centre, so we don't give out any personal emails um, in terms because we looked at the security problem and it's a privacy problem. So we can use our internal message centre to send a message to whoever you wish to talk to and the message will go out to that person into their email and then after um, communications exchange, you can exchange details with them as well. There's also a um, items um, section which you can put in your favourites items or items that you've uploaded to GovShare, you'll be recorded in your items section. We also offer a new forum feature. So the forum feature allows you to discuss um, any issues you have with previous products that you use. Um, if you want to introduce a new product into your environment, ask for advice from people who use them already. Also, they would, um, if uh, agents w agencies would like to, they can actually upload the package they have onto GovShare, and another agency can download that um, package and then install it into their SOE. And just to let you guys know, everything on the forum is in an enclosed environment, so it's not exposed to the public, it's not exposed to the media, so you'll feel um, comfortable um, collaborating in, in that, that space as well. Another new feature we have is the rating system. So for example, you can rate a feedback, you can rate um, a software product, and in terms of rating is for um, use for usability. So if you find something that you don't know or there's a lot of different products you can choose to use, you can use the rating system to identify whether this is good or not. And just to let you know as well, this rating system is not advice from a GMO, it's from the users. So basically, all the users can go into an item and rate that product yourself. Okay, so what's next for GovShare? So moving forward, we need your two cents worth. So we need content suggestions, feedback on the side, and um, you can direct any questions or suggestions to the govshare at finance.gov.au mailbox. And that's it. Do we have any questions? Yeah. Okay, thank you. So it's a very short presentation and um, the idea of behind GovShare is we do all the work for you. So we want to make it as easier for the user to upload whatever they like. They don't have to think about compliance, they don't have to think about web accessibility or security issues. This is in, uh, in a protected environment so you can upload whatever you like. And in terms of, oh sorry, got a question? 
I was just wondering, um, you were talking a lot about um, lighting skills and drugs and everything. Is this just mainly for IT or is it for general? It's actually for general. We're more focused on ICT areas, but you can also put, if you have any business skills you like um, to share, you can definitely put that up as well. Yeah. Yeah, and then in terms of um, permissions and feasibility, um, there's actually, whenever you upload something on the GovShare, you get uh, four choices. You can either choose to have it publicly available so anyone can see it. You can choose to have it um, only for government agencies to view, or you can choose it for only your agency to view, or if you think you're not ready for public viewing, you can just select for yourself to view as well. Yeah. Oh, down the back. Uh, it's a difficult one, and one we will look at. Um, we've got plenty of time before this pushes out, so as we are building this site, we're looking at compliance to the WCAG 2.0 as accessibility. Um, towards, I think, around uh, October, so we'll go through an audit to make sure it's compliant. But I understand that um, it's always changing. So we might have put into our strategy on maybe a monthly or quarterly review and how we can meet compliance with the accessibility as well. Yes. Um, when is this going to be available for us to use? We are hoping to official launch would be on uh, 2014, early, early 2014, but um, depending on how we go, we might actually get it done earlier this year as well. Um, we're going to have a Twitter site, so you can um, hashtag GovShare and to follow our progress. So there is already a website. Yes. But that's, uh, I tried to do a search and I didn't find anything. So you also, uh, yeah, at the moment it looks like. Uh, yeah, it looks like this at the moment. Oh, okay. Yeah, so the 2011 version, if you go to govshare.gov.au, that's what it will look like right now. There's still a lot of artifacts and is current in there. For example, we've got the emergency protocol the AS4590 standard, which is the Australian name and address standard. So there are items there you can download and reuse. And also we've got up there the national collaboration framework and the national standards framework, which I look after as well. So in terms of um, around frameworks and tools, this is where this is the space for, for um, collaboration. Yeah. All right, thank you very much. Uh, early March. <laughs>